Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Taurus for the whole of October. And Venus, your ruler, is dancing away this month and is encouraging you to change the way that you relate in love relationships. Not only that, she's asking you to change the way you relate when it comes to yourself and also to the world. That's a difficult challenge, but one that you will be up for because it should bring you fabulous rewards. It kicks off on the 1st, as along with that fantastic new moon that is bringing us all a taste of what Jupiter is going to bring us this year. Um, you have Venus, your ruler, trining Neptune, the lord of spirituality. And she's saying, you know what, get out and about. It's time to feel the pulse of civilization and to mix with groups of people and listen to music and, and go out and, and feel that vibe of feeling that connection to the whole. On top of that, on the 6th, she's conjunct Lilith, the incredibly intense goddess who demands that you are absolutely honest with yourself about love and says to you, I'm taking you into the underworld to understand your free spirit and for you to really look at things and to scrutinize things and to deal with things. And it's all about owning yourself when it comes to relationship, not giving your power away just for the sake of security and actually being true to you. So it's really examining all of your personal relationships actually to see how real they are. On the seventh, Mercury is shifting positions and making your focus very much on your health and well-being. You're talking a good game, but are you following through? Well, Jupiter, the pla planet of good fortune is really gonna help you because Mercury is conjunct Jupiter. So Jupiter's saying, right, it's time to expand your vision when it comes to your health and well-being, and I'm gonna take you by the hand and help you. We also have a full supermoon on the 16th, which is making you super psychic. If you had a hunch that someone wasn't being direct with you, wasn't being entirely honest with you, then that should come to a head on that full moon. You're also having a spiritual revelation and you're opening up to your spirituality in a new way. This supermoon is making you very, very, very intensely intuitive and you may be sort of sensing things, feeling things or having a dream that ends up becoming a reality. On the 18th, Venus, your ruler, is shifting signs and you know that has a big impact on you and she's taking you into the depths of your being. Some of you may feel obsessional or become overwhelmed with desire or wanting to experience something very intense. It's maybe even based on sexuality rather than the higher forms of love. Non-judgment. Uh, for other of you, it's about exploring your how powerful you feel when you're in sensual relationships. Funnily enough, whether you know it or not, you're giving off this vibe of, of charisma and sensuality when it comes to relationships around the 18th. And you're opening up to it. Mars and Pluto are saying to you, it is time now to have an adventure, but beware dangerous sports or doing anything too dangerous. You, you will be feeling absolutely fearless after the 20th and open to all sorts of new and exciting experiences. And there could just be this incredible sense of power around you and the desire to do something different. This is a month of revelations and change and transformation and it's up to you to go for it. Sometimes you hold back and you like to stick with the familiar. Well, there's no chance of that happening this month. It's all about you being deeply honest with yourself and exploring things from that point of view. Now, there is a cardinal grand cross if you include Eris and Ceres. And that can bring about a, a, a sort of sense of fighting with ourselves. But really, it's not so much that. It's that this cardinal grand cross shows us what we're fighting with and what contradictions we have in our heart and it allows us to find the solution to that, find a way out of it. After that, it's as if a whole energy around you clears and on the 23rd, the sun is entering your position of relationships and harmony, happy days, and Mercury is entering that position too. And in fact, the sun is conjunct Mercury on the 28th, uh, UK time, and you're feeling very optimistic and bright and cheerful and flirtatious. You bring harmony to other people's relationships and when you communicate with people, they get a really, really good vibe off you. 
and you're feeling as if you've got something to share that you want to reach out to other people and that you want to show people really that you how how to love and how to be nice to each other you're not always nice to yourself in your mind but actually this can help you appreciate your good qualities because they are all on the surface you have to make some decisions really about what your emotional truth is and where you're going but certainly all these things are helping you to do that Venus is conjunct Saturn on the 30th, which is making you look again at power and what you're committed to. But you're, you're very determined. You have a great depth around you and you're like, OK, right. I know what I want. I know where I'm going and I know how I see my future when it comes to my relationships. It doesn't even necessarily mean that you're in a relationship now, but you are exploring power dynamics and commitment and also dealing with some intense things but intense things that you can handle because it's a conjunction and it's your ruler. On the 30th, there's a new moon which gives you a brand new cycle when it comes to your love relationships. You can let go of the past and start again. There's this great feeling of optimism, excitement and joy. Um, I mean, you should start to feel that really around the 23rd and, and then it, it's starting to move and, and heighten and it could come to a head on Halloween, which looks like a great day with Sun and Mercury trining Neptune. Sun and Mercury are in your position of relationships and actually if you go out that night you should have a great time but you are embracing who you really are you're feeling strong you're feeling powerful and you're ready to embrace a new way of being take care and I'll speak to you soon thanks for listening and please if you haven't yet it'd be great if you could subscribe share like or comment take care see you next week